My name is Nicole. I'm a tea writer and educator and I'm here to help everyone learn more about tea. So today I wanted to talk about some of my favorite tea tumblers or travel cups for drinking tea. When I'm on the go, um, there's definitely a variety of options that I like to use um, depending on the situation. Um, so I would say the one I use the most often um, is this flask from T2. Um, it absolutely keeps the tea hotter than any tumbler I have ever used ever. Um, it really helps especially if you preheat it with hot water before putting your tea in. It will stay hot for hours. Um, like actually at first it's almost too hot um, where you can't drink the tea right away. Um, but that can definitely be an advantage if I know I'm traveling somewhere and I need my tea for a much longer period of time. Um, so inside um, it does have kind of an infuser basket um, that attaches to the lid piece here. Um, I generally don't use this basket uh, because it is quite small. I'll usually just brew my tea some other way and then pour it into there once it's done. Another infuser that I have been using quite often um, is the Mena infuser. Uh, first of all, I really, really love the like kind of glittery holographic color that they sent. Um, they did send me this for a review. What I do like about it is first that the lid can lock. Um, there's just like a little switch here. That way I can throw it in my bag. I don't have to worry about it leaking. There is a little bit of a learning curve with this one because there are a lot of moving pieces. Um, so I'll show you to drink. It does have a flip top. So the bottom kind of looks like your typical infuser like you might get from anywhere else. And the main difference with this one is that it, onto the lid, uh, there is an attachment um, with a holder for the infuser as well as an infuser basket. This infuser basket, kind of like the one from T2, is a little bit small. If I'm in a rush and I really just have to grab my tea and go, this is a great option because I don't have to take the leaves out or take the time to brew the tea separately. Um, so the basket just kind of screws into the base there. Um, and this goes on. And so this band that's around the top, um, when you turn that, it actually twists the inside so that way the tea itself is not being exposed to water. Um, it's not a perfect seal, but it definitely helps cut down considerably on any bitterness from leaving the tea in the, the tumbler. Later in the day, if I want to make more tea, um, that can just be twisted and opened up again, and that way I can brew a second um, tumbler full of tea. Another favorite of mine is the Gong Fu To Go from Crimson Lotus Tea. This kind of gives you the ability to do a modified Gong Fu. Um, I tend to use this a lot if I'm going to to my mom's house or a relative's house where I'm not gonna be moving around a ton, but I'll have access to hot water. There are a few different parts to this. I do really like that it can be completely disassembled to making it much easier to keep clean. Um, is there's these glass tubes that screw into the ends here. And your middle part is kind of what's going to strain your tea for you. Um, so you just twist that to open the valve. Um, and then there's a strainer here. Um, the holes aren't super tiny, so I would definitely only recommend this for kind of like your full leaf tea that you would brew Gong Fu style anyway. Now I did put some hot water in here just so I can show you an important thing with how to use the Gong Fu to go. Now, when you first open the valve, you'll see it's going through very, very slowly. Um, all you'll have to do is tilt it at a 45 degree angle and that will strain your tea much more quickly. And the last one I wanted to show um, is how I'll make matcha when I'm on the go. I purchased this one from Jing Tea, um, but I think T2 also has a very similar one. As you can see, it's kind of similarly designed to their flasks. The reason why I like this for matcha um, is that it actually has a stainless steel whisk attachment um, that screws onto the lid. Um, so that way when you put your water in um, and you close everything up, uh, basically all you have to do is shake um, to mix up your matcha and the whisk will actually get quite a nice froth um, on the matcha inside. Um, so that way when I'm on the go, I can still have matcha the way that I like it. Um, I do tend to use it more for cold water um, shaking. Um, 
as I'm sure you can imagine, if you're brewing with hot water, you just want to be a lot more cautious uh, because it can cause some pressure buildup um, if you're shaking hot water. So I definitely recommend opening the lid very slowly um, if you're using hot water just to be on the safe side. So these are all of my favorite tea travel tumblers. Let me know in the comments um, what tumblers you like to use. Um, also let me know if you have any questions about tea or things that you would like to see in future videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.